Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be working on the K1100. Today we're going to see if we can actually get this thing to start. If you're new to the channel, this is my K1100. Maybe you have came a long way with it. I think this is going to be the last video before we actually get it on the road and take it out. So make sure you subscribe for that. I know I said that before, but I figured I'll give you guys all the little pieces that need to go on here and we can get the reaction of the first start for this thing. So last video of this bike, I'm pretty sure we put on this a throttle tube from a RM250, that bike over there in the corner. That's in several pieces, but anyways, so the uh, thread pitch is a little bit different on this. Pretty sure I need a M8 to an M6 conversion little doodad in there and that will make this a throttle like actually work. Anyways, I want to take this apart and clean it up and give it a nice little spray over of paint. And speaking of painting things that are up here on the top, let me show you what I got for our front brakes and our clutch. So this front brake here is from a KTM Duke, which also has a dual rotors in the front. KTM Duke uh, front brake should be good for this. But anyways, it has a couple little chips and stuff on here, like at the uh, lever and the top part of the perch is a little bit beat up. So I'm just gonna do a little gloss black spray over on this and also on the clutch. In here we have the clutch. I just was seeing if it would work with my line here. But anyways, I bought this like brand new and it also has a little chip of paint there and it is satin black. So I'm gonna paint at least the lever or whatever gloss black just so it matches the rest of the the levers it will look weird with a satin black and a gloss black lever so i just gotta paint that by the way if you guys haven't noticed i am pretty sick so just bear with me here i'm trying to make a video for you guys all right got everything ready for paint and let's get some gloss black paint on here i forgot to take this off and get this ready for paint so let me do that Get these things cleaned up and painted too. Okay, so while the paint is drying, let's go take off these grips and throw in our new ones. Now I got these brown grips that match the seat. But what I'm going to do is spray a little WD-40 in here. WD-40 will lube her up a little bit, and when it dries, it gets a little sticky. Hey yo! Okay, so. That's why I use WD-40. <laughs> on the end, we're going to have these little indicator lights with the mirror on the end here. So I got to cut the excess off of here. I'm going to do it right at this line and then we can pop the sucker in. Sadly, the uh, inside diameter of this is a little, either on the handlebars, it's a little bit too skinny, and this is a little bit too thick. I don't know whose fault it is or where, but anyways, this is all eBay parts, so I'm not going to really blame anybody. So what I'm going to do is shave off the little sides of this so it can make it a little bit smaller. Five minutes later. Alrighty, as you can see, I shaved everything down on the sucker, so let's slide her through. Alrighty, Champelle, there's our little blinker boy, and I think I might have enough wire so I can snake it down on through here. Alrighty, everything is all put together. Put a little bit of a wire loom thing through here so it looks super nice where you'll see the wires come through, and tapped her in right here. So, let's see if it actually works. I'm pretty sure this is the blinker. There we go, she works there, and also over here. So while we wait for the paint to dry, we gotta fix the things that we need to start this thing, which is put oil in it. But before I put oil in it, I want to take off the oil pan, redo it, and repaint it. So then it looks all fresh and clean. The whole motor, it got redone, so I might as well do the oil pan. Just never had time to do it. Finally, time to do it when it's since it's off of the jack. Oh, there 
here she goes. So this little guy, um, I'll put a link for this down in the description. Um, so what you're supposed to do is plug in that stock factory thingamajigger, the plug that goes on here. And that goes in all these little prongs here. For here, it tells you like RPM, speedometer, ABS light, oil light, and temperature, your gears and everything on here, and neutral and whatnot. Anyways has so many different things that's actually hooked up to the speedometer so then basically when you have an aftermarket speedometer it's a real easy plug and play situation and this houses that computer that it has like so when you start up your bike you can start it without holding in the clutch and make sure that's neutral and whatnot so I'm gonna plug this up in and I don't have a speedometer yet but I'll see if it starts without having a speedometer and runs and everything so let me plug that sucker in and see if I can find a nice place for it. Fits right in there perfectly. Let's see. Okie dokie, well that seems to work pretty good. Cool beans, I'll zip tie it and put it in that direction. Okay, so our paint has dried a good bit. Um, as you can see, we cannot use this EMEG grip anymore because obviously we're using traditional grip. <laughs> so that's gone. Um, but now we will use this OEM RM250 throttle sleeve. All right, as you can see, you can see that this is where the bar ends and we got the little end mirrors. So we have to cut this throttle tube a little bit. I'm gonna cut it slightly inwards of this little black handlebar going through here. So right about there. All right, so we have this banjo fitting here. This is gonna go up on the reservoir, and uh, here is a custom line that's gonna come down, and we're gonna tee off in the middle. I'll put links for these products down in the description below. The ones that I got for teeing off going down to the brake caliber may be a little bit too long. So uh, yeah, I think I got 21 inch ones, but I think if I got like 17, I would be fine. But anyways, yeah. This one's an 11 inch, uh, this one seems to be a good size. Okay, those are too long, that's way too long. I'm gonna go ask them to return them and get some shorter ones, I think I'm gonna go with 16 inch ones. Those brakes aren't gonna hinder the bike starting, so might as well get this oil filter in, this brand new oil filter, got the old one there. Um, but yeah, really sucks. I should have just waited to measure those before I ordered them.
I am going to commit suicide. <laughs> should start all the fluids are in it so many unbearable hours later okay as you can see everything is off the bike I had a whole entire fiasco of this thing actually not starting backfiring and not nothing at all just a lot of crap is happening. It's been like a whole day. Turns out the starter switch, you need that to be completely, uh, has continuity. And then when it releases continuity, that shuts everything off. Anyways, it should start now. Figured stuff out with the ignition coils, something was backwards on there. Yeah, just a whole fiasco of crap. And now I have to tuck all my wires back in when I'm done, but it should start. Fuel pump kicks on. So super sick, freaking thing starts. Now I have to clean all this back up and put all the wiring back together take the gas tank off and just make sure everything's put back nicely and neatly clean up this whole entire area because I have made a mess of everything super excited that the bike started have to give a big thank you to forums and actually my dad my dad helped me a lot with trying to figure out what I did wrong yeah basically there's a really big pain in the butt of this thing but I finally got it started super excited about that it sounds super super sick so next video probably will be the whole entire reveal of this thing being completely finished all the lights working all the motor stuff working super super excited for that so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys next video